Hello all, Crazen here. This video is going to show you how to get the legendary mace, Blood of Lathander. It can be easily missed at multiple points, but it's not hard to accomplish. You can get this mace when you get to the mountain pass area. As you can see here, it has a level six evocation spell on it called Sunbeam. At the time of this recording, I did not have access to level six spells, so this was great to have. It also causes blindness to everyone it hits, so even if it does not kill your targets, it will definitely help with the rest of the combat. It has one use per long rest, so try and get the most out of it. It shoots in a line, as you can see here, so you will need to think about positioning whoever is wielding it uh, for maximum impact. This mace is a permanent light source as well, so while you are in the Shadowlands, it is helpful for that character as it will prevent any Shadowland debuff. Once you get into the mountain pass, make your way to the Rosy Morn Monastery. If you get the roll on this wheel, you will get to take a cool gondola ride across the map. If your roll fails, you can take the side path and jump across the bridge to get to the building. There are a couple of ways into the monastery, but I prefer this one up the vines near the waypoint. Just jump this gap and you will see a boarded up wall. Just break it in with spells or ranged weapons. You will need to slaughter these cat-like creatures named Grimishkas. If you have C and Viz, it is very helpful. They get upset by direct magic damage, but you can use anything that causes indirect damage. Spike grow to damage them as they move around, and Cloud of Daggers at the entrance where they are forced to jump across works wonders at calling the herd. After the creepy cats are cleared, jump into the gap in the wall, turn left, and there is a door you can lockpick. There's also vines you can get to on the outside, but it's a little way out of the, out of the way to get to. Go inside and jump up till you get to the roof. You will find some eagles up here. However you solve this encounter, you need to pick up the ceremonial hammer. After you deal with the eagles, there are some vines that you can climb down here. The door is directly across the hallway. You can pick the lock to open the door if you have the means. If not, you can turn right and go down the hallway and unlock the door. Once you get in the next room, you can break a weak point in the wall. Once you lockpick the door, you can attack and break the furniture stacked up against. It will clear the way to the ceremonial battle axe. You do not need to attack the Guardian of Faith, and you are better off not wasting your health and resources on fighting him unless you really want the experience. Just know, when you attack the Guardian, it does strike back. I opted to just grab the needed battle axe and scoot. Time to get the last item we need. Go back out to the hallway and hang on left. Open the door and continue heading east to the broken steps. After you jump the broken section, don't continue down. Head out of the building and up this hill. There is a gravesite up here that you will need to dig up. You will find a rusty mace and a note about Dawnmaster Stockholm. Grab both and head back towards the room with the Guardian of Fate. Hang a left, jump the route, and hang right into the room with the stained glass floor. The easy way to figure this out is if you look at the stained glass, it gives you pictures with the correct weapons on the correct pedestals. Just put the items on the pedestal as per this picture. Pause if you need more time. Once done, a panel on the wall opens and you get the Dawn Master's Crest. The next step is in the, the crash itself. I'm only going to be going over things you need to do to move through this area. I'm trying to avoid anything that can be considered spoilers. You will have to make decisions for your story on your own here, as how you accomplish these goals is up to you. Follow this path down past the broken steps. So you don't need to explore and get all the chests, but I suggest you do. I love me some good loot though. As you go down the vines, make sure you go left and there will be another set of vines you can climb down right before this chest on the wall.
Follow that down and you will find a secret entrance to the crash. I am sure there is another entrance to it, but this is the entrance that was convenient for me. I spent a lot of time in the crash making sure I sold and bought newer equipment. There's a lot of lore and story in here that you can go through. If you spoke to the lady on the way here, uh, there's a side quest you can procure an A. It is in the hat tree, and the discussions and acid were a fun challenge. I don't know the outcome of what happens after giving the egg to the lady, so please don't spoil it. You should also go to the medical area and do that content as well. If done correctly, it is a bonus to your character's abilities. There is also some tadpole specimens in there that you can nab. This interaction can go in a couple different directions. Don't worry, as it won't affect your ability to get the legendary mace. You need to get to the captain's quarters. Your goal here is to get through the blocked door on the other side. To do this, you will need to get the Gith Shard from Githrak Therizin's pocket and place it in the Githyanki Barrier Disruptor. This lowers the shield and you get an invitation from the voice on the other end. Just run through here and go into the door on the other side. I am not going to go over what happens here. Once it is all done and you have made your choices, turn left into the hallway with these two statues. The statue on the right praises the rising of the sun and the one on the left, the one that is stuck, praises the setting of the sun. Turn the one on the right to face the east. Cast or throw grease on the stuck one on the left, then turn it to the west. Once you do, it will open the door into the secret underground chamber. In this room, there are blue crystals on the wall. Destroy them and it will let you move forward. The next room has a device that looks to be pulsing some radiant rays on the ground. Without touching the rays, disarm the device. If you hear a click, you better move or be launched into the chasm. Turn left and you will see a U-shaped path that you need to take. Destroy the blue crystals here, then disarm this identical device as well. Once complete, you have another blue crystal to destroy. It opens the last door needed to move forward, and you can find it here in close to the chasm. Advance into the next room and get your legendary mace. Congratulations. Oh, as a side note, make sure you put the crest into the slot here before you grab the mace, but try it without and see what happens. It's actually kind of cool. Thank you all for watching, and I hope it helped you to get this legendary item. I had a lot of fun exploring this area. If you have any suggestions, please let us know in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. Please make sure you like and subscribe.